Hi, David Wallman here, and today we are talking about this right here. This is the Tone Shifter Mega. A couple years ago, I reviewed the Tone Shifter, which is a MIDI controller that would that that controls different things such as your Axe Effects, your Kemper, your um, apps. Well, this does that and more. First of all, this is a super high quality sound card. It's a sound card that will allow you to record at 192K, uh, uh, 24 bits, super portable. You have all the different inputs that you need. So you have two line ins, XLR in, XLR out, line in out, room for two expression pedals as well. And of course, the eight MIDI assignable foot switches. This is going to work with like I said, with pretty much anything, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through, I think some of the, the most useful features for me in the studio. And uh, we're gonna start right away with controlling your iPad apps. So I'm gonna use uh, Jamma Pro for this from Positive Grid. Let me show you how that works. Right now I'm in Jamma Pro mode. It recognizes the software, it's gonna speak with it, and it's gonna control what's going on in Jamma Pro here. On the bottom we have four switches that are gonna change the, the presets that we, that we can see here. So right now I'm on that first one. If I want to go to that fourth one, I'll click that fourth one. It's a very fast operation. Then we can navigate through the different pages with these two buttons. We've got page down and page up. Right now we are on the second page. If I want to go to page three, We'll go page up and select bank A, and now I'm on 3A here, 3B, 3C, and so forth. Then we have um, these two buttons right here that currently are assigned for the, the drive. So I can activate or deactivate the drive. You see it appear on the line there. Or the delay, same thing for the delay. Right now the delay is on. I can remove it like that. Now, of course, you can change all of that however you want, but I feel that it's a, it's a good way to use this out of the box. Most players will find this configuration really simple to use. I want a little more, I'll add my song. Want some delay, I'll just add some delay. And so forth. So that's for Jamma Pro. Now the Jamla Pro is pre-configured to work with the TSM Tone Shifter Mega, but there is also a mode where the TSM is going to recognize your Axe Effects, allowing you to do a lot of things. Let's let me show you exactly how it works. The Axe Effects mode works just like the Jamla Pro mode. On the bottom, we have four switches that are going to help you navigate through the different presets. So right now, I'm on a British 800 mod. You can switch. It's flawless, it's very fast. The top two right knobs are going to be the page up and down navigation menus so that you can browse through whatever you want on your Axe Effects. And uh, let's go back to the British 800 mod. The top left switches are for the drive and the delay. That's how they're configured right now. So if I'm playing with that uh, British 800 mod, Want to add some drive? I can add some delay. And that's going to work for all the presets. And of course you can configure this however you want to control whatever you want on the Axe FX. And the next feature that I'm probably the most excited about is that this can work as a high quality sound card for Mac or PC. I'm gonna use my iMac for this and I'm gonna use this in Logic Pro 10. So you're gonna see all the different things you can do and so much more also. Currently the device is connected to my iMac and being a sound card, I'm going straight into the TSM. I align in. And uh, because it's a sound card, I can of course adjust the volume if I want to. Make it louder, lower, just make my settings. This is going straight into the computer via USB. And the cool thing with this is that I can use all the different switches 
to do whatever I want into my DAW. So right now, if I press this, I'm gonna record. And I set it up so that if I press this button, it's gonna stop the recording. And to rewind, I set it up this way. I set it up so that anytime I press the rewind button, which is currently assigned to A, I'm going to rewind one bar at a time. So that's super convenient and I can just play with B from where I stopped. I can stop with C, rewind again, and hit record if I want. It's just so convenient. And of course, all this can be configured exactly how I want. This just saves you so much time. Just imagine having that on your floor. All you need to focus on is your instrument and your music. And an extra touch that I really like, I kind of discovered this as I was playing through it. The knobs here that you can use to control the volume coming in or out, you click on them. They're clickable and when you click it, it's going to mute that input or output. It's very useful, a very useful touch. They didn't have to do that, but they did. It also has uh, a boost option as well. So if you're going in with your guitar and you have pickups that are not very high output and you just want that extra thing, just hit the boost. It's clean in, in the sense that the noise is not colored. It's not gonna add any things like that that you might have. It's very well built. Really like it a lot. I'm gonna leave the link below and um, list some more uh, tech info on there, but it's a great piece of gear. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna be using this on the go. Um, going to Germany in October, I probably will bring this with me so that I can record stuff in the hotel room. It's it's really awesome. And then I can just come back here in the studio and I know that I will have a high quality performance that I can work on in the studio. Highly recommend this. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching this review and I will see you very soon. Practice well.